hey y'all welcome back to another video and in today's video we are gonna be painting but first we have to get coffee we have to get some snacks so we're gonna do that and then we're gonna get started and i'm gonna start explaining stuff to y'all let's get into the video a 50 by 60 centimeter canvas that I'm going to be working on today here of basically what I want to do but instead of the it being like yellow flowers I'm going to be making them orange and I'm going to be going in this really light blue it actually looks dark on the camera for some reason it's actually a pretty light blue and I'm going to be using that for the like most farthest in the back mountain because it is further so it has to be like lighter and i marked like really thinly at the bottom over here just so i can like know where i want like the mountain to start disappearing like as i showed y'all in the picture reference so i'm gonna show y'all how i do this mountain and then for the next mountains, it's going to be different because they're going to be more towards the front of the canvas. They're going to be more towards the midground, So they're going to be like a different shade. They're going to be darker. So let me real quick show you all this. And then I'll show you all the other can. Sorry. The other mountains, like shades and everything as well. I think she made me at the college. Her friends play my songs and they've been following me. Yeah, I don't like to do that much explaining and talking. Just know she had coffee with me, yeah. I hear you like pizza and dancing. Love that is not that romantic, yeah. I don't have no time for no antics. Fly on, smile for the cameras. Oh, they like me now. Go ahead, wipe me down. She don't got a man, cause he ain't lock it down. Hey, do you think of me when I'm not around? Y'all hit the ground when you walk up. So basically, as y'all can see, this is the second mountain. And basically what I did was I added a darker color on the top part of the mountain. And I added a lighter one under it. So in the middle, as y'all just saw that I made dots. So now I'm just blurring it out. So it kind of transitions between the two colors. So it doesn't just look like, oh, there's a mountain with two different colors on there. So I first applied paint with like... A little bit of a wet brush and then I went in with a semi dry brush like I just dipped the tip in like water and then I dried it a bit and then I went in to start blurring it and to blur I went in circular motions I had a little bit of tapping on it just so like it spreads out a little bit more and I basically just did it everywhere I wanted it to go and then it gave me this effect I also did this with white on the edge of the mountains and I feel that when you want to blur out the edges of the mountains it's best to go in with a little bit of a sheer white instead of like a proper thick acrylic white so I did go in with the sheer white and I blurred out the bottom of the mountains so it could look misty a bit in a way so well, that's all I'm doing pretty much in this clip I'm blurring it out and I'm fixing up the second mountain so for this third and final mountain I went in with this blue color and basically what I did with the second mountain like the starting of the second mountain and the forming of it I'm just showing y'all what I did and now I'm showing y'all like how I blurred the bottom like I went to the Y and then I blurred all of that out and now I'm showing y'all how I did this really like thin like as than as like I wanted it to be line so I put the paint that I wanted a little darker than the actual mountains obviously and I took another brush that was a big brush but I didn't make it wet I used it dry so it could be a little more stiff and then I just kept going over until the color was of what I wanted it to be and the darkness was of what I wanted it to be for the line. This line is basically just to show the difference between the mountains and the water and now I'm showing you guys the satisfying part of taking out the paper and revealing the actual true mountain with the paper on it looks so messy and all but once it's off 
the satisfaction is beyond comparable. It's amazing. As y'all can see, I was messing with it a bit because there was a piece of paper I accidentally painted on, like a thin piece though. But don't worry, I went over it and I just like completely stuck it onto the canvas in the end. But it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's totally fine. Now for this part, your paint does have to be wet. So if your paint did dry, then just go a little thin layer over it to make it wet. And I went in with a little bit of a wet brush. Don't want to completely make a damp brush that will rub off the other painting as well. And just lightly along the edges, just like go in like a back and forth motion just to blur it out. What I did was I blurred out the edges and then in the reference photo I showed y'all, they didn't join the top and the bottom. They just kind of like blurred out the edges and left it at that. But I did want it to be like a little bit like blue in the middle. So as I was blurring it out, I brought it down and like I kept moving till like both the parts met. But yeah, it's totally up to y'all if you want to leave it white or just bring two sides together, which is what I did. Not like art. Look 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 like art. Show you look like. I hear you like he that cut lot us. Like that she not one for drama. Yeah, big smile, get it from mama. Hey, please, that's your shoes for you get my heart uh Looking like look like art. Hot hills, look like art. So we have finished the background and now I'm going to be showing y'all how to do the branches. So for the base of the branches, what I did was I made this brown that's more to the golden side just because I wanted a little bit of a golden like kind of like underlay you could say I guess in my branches and then I went on top of that with a darker brown and that's what I did for my branches, just so I had like a little bit of a shine to it when you look at it under a certain light, so it's just, you know, different. And then I started adding some little orange flowers, you could say, onto my branches. And later on, I don't show it, but I add like some yellow highlights in them too. So, yeah. Here y'all go, the final look, and I added a black border around the edge too, just because that gives a nicer finish. Yes, I did forget to film an outro again. Um, yeah, that's embarrassing. Anyway, so that's it for today's video. If you guys liked it, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button to get notified every time I post a new video. And if you did not like it, don't do anything at all. Anyways, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!